things have gotten so bad for the country. Actually, <laughs> things have gotten so easy for Republicans. Uh, and the reason I say they've gotten so easy is they don't have to try hard at all to lie because they know their base will lap up the lies as though they are truth, as though they are nourishment. And by virtue of that, it is bad for the country. I'm going to play a clip here of Donald Trump, a little longer than I'd like to, not even two minutes, but a minute and a half or so. Of, so prepare yourself. There'll be a timer if you can't stand the look at his stupid face or his voice. Just skip through. Look at the timer and skip through. But Donald Trump is whining about a gag order and his First Amendment rights being trampled upon, being squelched, being nixed, while standing in front of a camera and a microphone that is being broadcast globally. He whines about not having free speech. I, I tell you what, here's a, we'll just play the clip and we'll analyze this blow by blow and then also, I want you to pay attention to his expertise that he appears to have, that he would have you believe that he has relative to how many judges there are, which judges are conflicted, what level of conflict they have, and how he has his finger on the pulse of what is record-breaking conflict and what is not. And then we're going to go back to a post a couple of days ago where he acts like, I don't even know how this works. What? First... Uh, watch Donald Trump have his free speech rights trampled upon while speaking into a camera and being broadcast globally. And people know, and people know it's very unfair. The gag order has to come off. People are allowed to speak about me, and I have a gag order, just to show you how much more unfair it is. And the conflict has to end with the judge. The judge has a conflict, the worst I've ever seen. And it has to end with the judge. The gag order has to come off. I should be allowed to speak. Every time I come out to speak to you, I want to be open because we did absolutely nothing wrong. I showed you yesterday 30 stories, 32 stories of experts, legal experts, and I don't have one the other way. 32 stories of legal experts saying very strongly there's no case, this is a case should have been brought. Trump did nothing wrong. And they say it strongly, Trump did nothing wrong. So they ought to get rid of the conflict with the judge because that's something that uh, he cannot do anything about. It's wrong. It's wrong. And the second thing is I have to be released of a gag order. They've taken away my constitutional rights to speak. And that includes speaking to you. I have a lot to say to you, and I'm not allowed to say it. And I'm the only one. Everyone else can say whatever they want about me. They can say anything they want. They can continue to make up lies and everything else. They lie. They're real scum. But you know what? I'm not allowed to speak. And I want to be able to speak to the, friend, the press and everybody else about it. So why am I gagged about telling the truth? I'm only telling the truth. They're not telling the truth. The judge has to take off this gag order. It's very, very unfair that my constitutional rights have been taken away. Thank you very much. Are you going to keep posting about Michael Cohen? Do you want to talk about Michael Cohen? The gag order does not restrict Donald Trump from doing anything other than attacking employees of the court and a few other parties. Those parties are not talking about Donald Trump. They are not attacking Donald Trump. Donald Trump still can talk about the judge all he likes. Donald Trump can still talk about the prosecutor all he likes, but he is not allowed to attack jurors or witnesses in the case. That is intimidation, as we witnessed from my video yesterday, talking about a juror who uh, requested to be let off the jury because of the fact that she is being outed and attacked by Donald Trump. And she was uh, fearful for her safety. But as far as Donald Trump claiming that this, is, this judge is the most conflicted I've ever seen, ah, it's the most conflicted in the history, oh, I've seen a lot, and this is the most conflicted. You can't have it both ways, dum dum Donnie. You cannot have it that you are an expert with your finger on the pulse of everything that's going on and you understand in intricate detail 
the goings-on of courts and judges and recusals and everything else. Because just the other day, you posted on Truth Social this gem. You said, I thought strikes were supposed to be unlimited when we were picking our jury. I was then told we only had 10, not nearly enough when we were purposefully given the second worst venue in the country, capitalized weird for some reason. Don't worry, we have the first worst also. As the witch hunt continues, election interference! Donald Trump acts like he's an expert, understands all the the ins and outs of trials, criminal trials, civil trials, uh, the criminal justice system, and yet he didn't know that you don't have unlimited strikes. Donald Trump, in his his addled brain, believes or wants you to believe or MAGA world to believe that he thought they just would have unlimited. That for, we'll sit there forever picking a jury and just reject, 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 reject everyone. Just reject anyone every time, all of them, so you'll never have a jury s- seated. You don't get it both ways, Donald Trump. You certainly don't get it both ways, MAGA world. And you're not being, your, your freedom of speech is not being trampled upon. You're not allowed to interfere with witnesses, with jurors, in your case, you do not have a constitutional right to do that using speech or any other right under the Constitution of the United States, Donald Trump, which is another thing maybe you should brush up on since you've already taken an oath to the best of your ability, support and defend this document. Protect and defend, I think, is the presidential oath, not support and defend. How can you protect and defend something you have no idea the contents of? And you want to, you want to take the oath again? You endeavor to take the oath again in January of 2025. Maybe brush up on the Constitution you claim to want to terminate. Maybe that you'll do that on day one of your dictatorship that you are so proudly talking about all the time gag order come on anyway what do you think i'd love to know let's talk about this in the comments you can also call leave me a voicemail 714-576-4054 of course you can always email me daily at dollamore.com i'd love to hear from you if i'm your flavor of political commentator and you want to help support my work you want to help me do this you want to help me make these videos click the join button below um pick a tier and uh, become a channel member for $2 a month or more. Or you can go over to my Patreon page. Same rules apply, the tiers and the $2 a month. Patreon.com slash I Doubt It Podcast. You can also go to my merch store, uh, dollamore.info. Well, it's a forwarded link. It'll link you to the, to the merch store. You can buy some merch. All of it goes a long way. Mugs and totes, all that stuff. You get something for it, not just a warm, fuzzy feeling that you're supporting independent media. Uh, anyway, follow me on social media. I'm at Dollamore. I'd love to see you there. And I will see you next time. Until then, be genuine and take care of one another.